going to say, um, these two going up against each other is pretty interesting because there's a lot of common matchups here between Stone, Mr. E, Stocktaker, just all being on the island, all being consistent yep. local attendees, and probably playing against each other in doubles a pretty fair amount, you know? But then you get the introduction of J-Ribs coming back from SoCal. He's played here a couple times for sure, but he hasn't been here nearly as consistently. And it's going to be interesting to see what he adds to the equation, considering how well they played in winter semis. Yep. I think right now, from the set that I've seen with Mr. E and Ribs, their momentum was explosive. It was so, so, like, they were just playing off of each other. And yeah. Ribs is like, was there for Mr. E. Yeah, Ribs' um, positioning the entirety of that set was honestly so good. Always made sure he took center stage when they gave it to him for free. Always extended on the jump from ledge. And Ness is a character that can really build up that same kind type of momentum against Ike. So if Ribs is able to get like a lot of the early kills on, on Sone, I think this is definitely their game to take. This is their upset. I'm not sure if it's an upset, but this is definitely their game to make here. Um, I love the shield that's just coming from Ribs, wow. making sure he's not going to get hit by any straight aerials from Wolf. Um, and these up, uh, these forward airs just like calling out Ike in the air because of course he has just like so much startup on his forward and the neutral air. Oh my god, and Sone's recoveries are always so, so on point. Yeah, absolutely. Both teams just kind of playing the field right now. Nothing Amazing too crazy. Amazing magnet out. back here. I think the timing of it was a little bit slow, and he might have been able to shield it. But regardless, <gasps> and the shield pressure. Does he make it? Okay, if he made that, wow. that would have been really smart from Stone. Looking for the side B reset on E to kind of cover himself, but unfortunately, going to lose that first stock. And the back here calling the out second. the F smash, and of course, back here, uh, I mean, F smash on Wolf doesn't have a, a fantastic vertical. It does not have a fantastic vertical hitbox. So Ness is able to get that back here punish on it. Uh, getting the double jump forward and again. You just see Stocksaker getting a little bit, um, like he's getting, I, I, he's getting a little bit hungry for the kills on ledge. Yeah, absolutely. And you can't feed too hard versus a team like this because if Ness makes it back to the stage, you will get punished hard. Yep. Um, you know, at any multitude of his multi hits follow up into one another. PK fire is of course something to worry about, but I haven't seen much PK fire usage in this set whatsoever. Ribs is just like opting to like punish them in the air a lot more, and I really love the way that's working out. Mm -hmm. And Ribs's punish, honestly, on some of these oh throws has been so solid. Just putting himself right there, waiting it out, hard with punishing the throw. I love that recovery mix-up from Ribs, making sure that he's not going to get too framed that easily. Um, because, you know, you could just do the normal angle, and then Ness could also just, like, really, really, really stall, making sure he gets back safely. Um, I love the hold through Mr. E, waiting to see if Ribs is going to be ready to follow up with it, with maybe a double jump cancel PK fire, but of course not uh, landing it. But I do love the intention behind it. I think it was really, really great. I agree, for sure. We're seeing a lot of good corner pressure come out from Stocktaker, as well, per usual. Fantastic PK fire catching the aggressive landing from Stocktaker. Mm -hmm. And again, Ribs just holding him, man. He really is not giving up stocks for free at all. Mixing up these landing recoveries, mixing up his... And um, this is definitely like not to forget about like Mr. E at all, because Mr. E has been putting in so much work to set mm -hmm. with like taking off kills with the side B. And, you know, despite that, like you see... Um, Ooh, I love that magnet back. It was so good. Ribs' execution on all of his follow-ups are amazing. They're so good. Yeah, he really is no slouch when it comes to that technical pressure. Oh, and I love that drop down away into a double jump forward, making sure that nobody was going to go for a vertical punish on him hanging onto the ledge. Mm -hmm. Trying his absolute hardest to mix up who he's swinging oh, at, which is very important for doubles. That, oh, that angle on the PK Thunder was so smart, making sure he wasn't going to get edge guarded by Son. That was nice so person. great because that would definitely been, have been the stock, the sour spot on the back end. Not enough to take out, take it out quite yet. I love the double jump cancel magnet, um, but he's going to get punished for it with a back air. I love the absorption as well. And Ribs is holding onto his jump so, so well, making sure he can always get back to stage. Uh, that's going to be the yeah. game. f tilt going to do it. Someone just making use of the fact that there was so much space between him and Stock, and just kind of swinging, swinging for the fences a little bit, realizing pretty much all my buttons, yeah. but down tilt, you're going to kill Ness right now. If I down tilt, Stock and just combo off of that with his up air. A lot of things we can do here. That ledge pressure is very solid. And you can, uh, you see ribs and thought a little bit here. He's, I don't think there's much that he did wrong there. 
I just feel like Masui lost himself Masui, a little bit yeah. earlier. Yeah, a little bit overzealous on a couple of edge guards for sure. It um, worked out a few times, but it's certainly, but the times it didn't work out, the times he did commit like that, he lost the stocks, and that didn't work out so good. <gasps> Such a great like side beef from Mr. E, putting them both immediately off stage, letting Gribs backline with that amazing PK Thunder, 100% safe. Nobody's up in his face, you know, letting him get away with it for, basically for free. Um, I love the PK fire attack chase. A uh, stock taker, you might want to see. He might want to start like uh, tech, uh, teching out a little bit. You see him doing a neutral tech a lot, and as a result, getting PK fired and taking excess damage that, you know, could have been avoided. Yep. Oh, very oh. unfortunate from E. Same way the last game started with a little bit of an SD. It's going to make it hard. Oh, and the that was so good from Stone, making sure to shorten the PK Thunder. Because, of course, if you get if you hit the PK Thunder after the invulnerability, the distance of it will be cut in half, um, and thus making Ribs unable to snap to ledge. Both Sone and Stock to get relatively high percent. And, you know, Ness can take stock super, super early as long as anybody's off stage with his yep. super potent edge guarding tools. Um, Ness edge guards Wolf phenomenally well. Ness edge guards Ike phenomenally well. Yep. And um, E really trying to make up for these early stocks, just putting himself in great positions right now. The gr I love that down smash and S smash from Stock Seku and so on. Because if he held shield, he would have had been so much shield sent if you go that he got hit by that down smash. I think that was a really, really great play off of each other. And Ribs. Already yeah. down to his last stock. Yeah, red team holding the ledge on all sides. Things are looking pretty nerve wracking. Ah, uh, getting the sour back here. The strong back here might have been just enough to take out at 133%. And the raw F smash. And Mr. E mashed the back here out of hit stun and killed his teammate. Yeah. Um, I, wow. I don't know if I agree with giving up there. But I, but no, I just keeping it snappy yeah. is like a good way to stay in the flow of things. Like, like quick, not just quickly shake it out off. the two v one. Like yep, yep we're like no that was to, that game. No, no need to get in the wrong mindset. No need to like really like beat down on yourself. Yep. All right, this game we lost. Get it over with. Moving on to the next one. Yep. Um, and I believe winners finals is indeed a best out of five, and then grand finals is gonna be. Uh, best of five bracket reset, okay. and then losers finals also. But I'm not sure about losers semis of it being best of five or not. Okay. Um, well, we so will see. right now they're up 2-0. Uh, maybe we'll get the reverse three zero. I'm not sure. We just we definitely need to see Mr. E supporting grips a little little bit more. Yeah, uh, I think one set. huge thing that it is is E needs to switch gears. He was getting a lot of uh, a lot of edge guards versus the Jokers just because Lucina can put herself in the right place. But Wolf has so much aerial drift and Ike swings so hard that if she yep. puts herself in the wrong place for even an instance, he just finds himself taking way more damage than he needs to or losing his mm -hmm. double jumping and getting edge guarded or SDing at pretty dumb percent, which we've seen happen first stock both games one and two so far. Ah, oh, Ribs not getting the full multi hit connect on his up air. And missing the tech. Super, super careful for him so not to get up attack right into Mr. E's counter. Because that could have spelled the end for both him and his teammate. Um, wow, and Zone getting the side B off. I mean, so I have not seen Zone get gimped. Zone yeah. is getting back to stage so well. He's so smart. There was the one where he uh, side beat and didn't make it in time. He smash but... taking the stock. Now look at that ribs and E. Both with three stocks, stock taker and zone down to two each. I love the patience of Ribs off stage. You just yep. see him like not mashing out neutral. Air. He's like waiting and tumble a little bit, and he's gonna double jump. Is he gonna air dodge? Is he gonna PK Thunder? Is he gonna mix up his PK Thunder? Yep. And that level of unpredictability makes it super difficult for a committal character like Ike to, uh, you know, get something started on him off stage. Exactly. If you don't have great startup, you're not gonna be able to really hard punish. Great punish on the new, uh, on the dash attack on his shield, and of course if that doesn't cross up, it is not safe at all. Getting the neutral air off. <gasps> Ooh, that was so I saw that coming, coming a mile stock. Yeah. Way. I think that was a buffered roll in, honestly, because it looked like Sohn tried to react and do normal get up in time. Yeah. So I want to give him the best. But it's also of the a little bit there. difficult when you try to air dodge to tech, because when you air dodge to tech, you might also accidentally input the direction yep. that you air dodged uh, in order to tech that way. And so I'm getting that F smash on Mr. E, mm -hmm. and suddenly it's 2 1 2 1. Yep. Dropping that uh, three, th uh, 3 and 3 to 2 and 2. I love that exchange of the forward, uh, forward throw. They were just in the same space at the same time. Looks so clean. 
Oh, Mystic E's juggling on Stock Taker is phenomenal. Yeah, E realizing he needs to juggle a lot more versus a character like Wolf and not try to overextend on the <gasps> edge guard. Oh, that's no! Going to be the spike on Libs. Um, they're bringing this game back. Stock out of time. And um, Zone just playing so well right now. And I love the fact that Libs isn't even committing to any PK Thunders right now. He doesn't want to risk any edge guards. Mr. E mm -hmm. losing his stock so early. He died to two normal get-ups this game, and Stock likes to talk about how often he punishes people for normal get-up, but there we really just saw him F-smash at some really Ooh, low percent. Not committing to a yo-yo, knowing Sone is right there, ready to punish him for oh. it. And the F-smash! This is definitely Rib's oh, game to man. take right now. It has suddenly become so much more doable. Any good throw, any good back air. <gasps> As you thinking. Okay, Sone every now and then will land an option, and you're like, how did he just land that? And that was one of those. Yep. That up smash was so, so good. Sometimes and you gotta go for that gorilla swing, you know? Mm -hmm. And Ribs opting, ooh, and that PK flash would have been a great call out had I gone for the air dodge and back, back throw more than enough to take it. one from Ribs. Yeah, wow. honestly, the F smash call out was super, super tricky yeah. because if Ribs looked for anything else like Rising Fair would have gotten punished because mm -hmm. it's so laggy. You know, just staying grounded, maintaining that low profile. Mm -hmm. Uh, taking the quick hit. Son just kind of didn't react in time. I think if he went for Nair, he was fine. But the fact that he tried to jump yeah. fast fall back air just resulted in Ribs having a lot of time to think for himself yeah. and just kind of reset into singles mode and just play the rest of that stock out. Yeah. I, the, think, yeah. I think right now, like, Ribs, like, seeing him play yesterday in doubles versus today, like, definitely some sort of a switch flipped in him. Yeah. He's getting his movement down immaculately, not missing a single conversion off of Magnet. Yeah. And his conditioning is just off the charts. It's that Sone reading the PK fire and jumping in with an aerial. Yeah, Ribs playing like a driven man right now. He's playing like a man who's down 2-1 to one and wants to make the reverse 3 -0. Absolutely. <laughs> Oh, oh he's oh, not going to be able to make it. He could have gotten the bounce, but he decided to, and maybe his finger slipped because that was a PK Thunder was vertically up. Um, oh, this is going to be a pretty bad start for blue team, but mm -hmm. nothing they can't bring back with some good pressure. And so in great awareness, making sure not to neutral, get up into that yo-yo, making sure not to roll into it because that would have hit him as well. Making sure just to get up attack right into it. Um... And you just see, like, ribs, like, ready to call out those jumps, stalling a little bit with the magnet. So, so good from ribs. Stock playing super patiently, just waiting to play off of Sone. Misses the first That's exactly what you said. Like, I can Wolf and Doubles are so menacing because they get so much off of the throws. Yep. You just see, like, throw, uh, Sone throw, uh, do a back throw. And even though Wolf missed the F smash, he still had enough time to go in and do a dash attack. Yep. So, so good. The good synergy there was just phenomenal. Um, ooh, and Ribs trying to punish oh, the up three smash, smash on attacks. Wolf. Unfortunate up smash ooh. coming out from Sun. Gonna put them in a little bit more of an even position here. Mm -hmm. Able to clean up the stock really well. And E leading the high recovery, perhaps the side B, and, go, and choosing to up through the counter instead. But Joe, the stock taker, of course, not uh, taking the bait. I love that drop down PK Thunder from Ribs, but because of the fact that he re grabbed Ledge, he lost all of his invulnerability and thus lost the stock for it. And now Sone is still standing strong at 0% and stock ticker at 31. Yeah, this we're is seeing some great damage on Ribs from the blue. On Ribs trying to get a two frame well. maybe with the down air, but mistiming it quite a bit, not able to get it off in time. I love the fact that Ribs chose to opt for the back throw right there because that was just like. Get off the stage. I'm getting keeping you off my teammate. We're going to edge guard you right now. Yep. So I, I think that was a fantastic option. Good stuff. Great anti air coming out from E. Just playing this a lot more patient, staying on the stage a lot more, just trying not to push the edge guard too much because he realizes he needs to be there for ribs as much as possible. And I think ribs right now, he's not respecting wolf smashes enough. Yep. Because you see him going through these dash grabs out of shield, which plus 11 frames, and then however many frames is grab. Yeah. You know, that's, that's quite a bit. Dash grab being, I believe, 9 or 10 just makes it really sloppy. Getting that footstool. Okay. okay. If he can quickly clean up the stock on, on uh, stock taker, this could become an even game again, and Lucina's definitely no stranger to just, like, the sustain in 1v1 scenarios. Very great timing oh coming out from Son there. It was so just good. Watching the stall out, making sure he lets go just in time. And the greatest you know, thing is maybe the, the coverage was there mm -hmm. from 